<laughs> How's everybody doing? Well, I'm gonna tell you, it has been a fantastic Valentine's. We had a wonderful time, a fantastic time. So many people participated in the Valentine's Zoom. Even those that did not come in, they still benefited from the experience. Here, of course, is I have here my altar, the love altar of Oshun. I got tables, chocolate, chocolates, perfumes, all the subscribers that participated in the uh, Valentine Zoom video here are the men, and here are the women. So the people who participated, they are going to have a wonderful lover, a man or a woman. If you didn't have a Valentine's this year, the people that participated in my Valentine's Zoom, and there was a lot of you, I'm gonna, I've am gonna, got a spell and watch, watch, and then witness it. I couldn't record it because I played my Latin music and everybody got to get to experience the Latin music. I bought the equipment and everything. I told you I went a lot. And we had such a good time. We stood up to 12 midnight. And everybody stayed plugged in. This was fantastic. There were gifts and prizes, prizes and spells that were done. Watch every one of them do really well. Yes. It was wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I can tell you what a great time everybody had. I wish I could offer you some of the diva chocolates. Please, have one. Have one or two. They're delicious. Delicious. For my beloved Oshun, and for all of you, too. <laughs> oh, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. I can't, I can't, I, I can't tell you enough. Can't tell you enough. Now, yes, I got my uh, Lone Star Republic ship. So, you know, I'm officially a Texan since I registered my company in Texas and I'm going to buy a residence in downtown Houston, an apartment, a nice apartment, a nice duplex. So, yes, uh, I am making Texas my new home. Yes, I still have a place in New York, of course. Uh, but here is where I'm going to spend most of my time. Here in Houston. <laughs> so, um, let's jump right in. Uh, I am not doing any more astrology videos. Because I'm going to do that on another platform, you all know. Right? And... Uh, we are on a retrograde, so we're going to wait until the 24th to begin the process of, you know. But, like I said, I'm not leaving YouTube unless they cut me off. I don't plan to leave YouTube. And what I plan to do, like what I'm doing today, is that I'm going to do a cult videos, the introductory videos. I'm not going to go into depth. I'm not going to do a follow-up series of the same series. If you are interested in this series, which is 0013, uh, which deals with the human blood and the archons, then you need to go to the other platform to watch the rest of the series. But the introduction will be here for free on YouTube, contingent upon your donations. And then if you're interested in the series, you go to the other platform, and then you join the tiers that I've already had selected for you. My staff over at uh, Premium or Patreon and the consultants that I've hired and the Keisha Farmer, that team is putting that together for you. I told you, Uncle Fernando will always 
find a way. I'm Irish. I'm Carnival. I will always find a way. And yes, I got to be careful with our uh, with, with that platform as well. There is no self uh, fail safe. There is no place where I can feel secure about my conscience. I could be censored and blocked on that platform as I am on YouTube. So there's no escaping that. No, we just have to manage it as best as we possibly can and be able to at some point um, find a clever way to dispense information that's not going to cost me my channel or the platform or what have you. But I don't plan on censoring the truth anytime soon. So if that becomes an issue, then so be it. We will move like wandering Jews and move until we find a home and find a platform where we can be able to um, freely express what we need to. Now, unfortunately, I like people to move Fernando. Why don't you have your own website? People forget, I do have a website. I have several websites. Unfortunately, on the Vista print, they don't have the video and live streaming. So unfortunately, I cannot, uh, and New York uh, WordPress, WordPress has that. But do I really want to pick up and start all over again? You know how much years it took me to put these websites together? Should I have to do it all over again? I founded a school which demands my attention. I'm over 50. I cannot do this again. You know? If it is, it is. If it isn't, I'm not going to do this again. You know? Um, it, look, it, 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 it's a matter of management. That's all. It's a... It, it, it's a matter of management. I'm not familiar with Clubhouse, but I hired a consultant that has told me a lot about Clubhouse and told me a lot about libraries, uh, Patreon, Vimeo, you know, and I don't have the time and energy to redirect and refurnish and reinvent myself in these new platforms. I've already created a brand for myself so I don't want to have to repeat the whole process on another platform. Whether you take me or you don't. Now, I have lawyers and, you know, we are negotiating how to manage my business on these platforms and at least meet halfway and what we need to do to stay complicit and where they are happy that nobody goes overboard. I mean, it, 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 and this is the Saturnian process of Saturn that I'm going through now, the second Saturn return. Uh, I, it seems like my needs are not as important as the needs of the company and the corporation that I'm putting together. To again, further the knowledge that I've been giving you all along. Now Saturn sees to it that a form is actually created where now the company can outlive me and can deliver the goods that I've always provided for you otherwise. It is a Saturnian process of consolidation and solidification. This is why I am letting you know what's happening. Because Saturn, I mean in Saturn space. And Saturn as a cardinal sign, cardinal a planet, ruling a cardinal sign like Capricorn, it demands precision, professionalism, responsibility, and follow through of its objectives. Success will come under Capricorn and under Saturn, almost always guaranteed, but it's gonna be a struggle. It's not going to be easy, and there's a lot of sacrifice that have to be waged along the way. This is the, the principle of Capricorn and Saturn, where I am going through at the moment. And, you know, I'm, doing, I'm, I'm handling it. You know, you know, and yeah, like Han Solo and Star, and Star Wars and his ship and the asteroid. You have to navigate and not get hit by the asteroid. And you gotta have skill and position. And I got a lot of that. All right. So now, oh wait, but, but, but the beat. Eh, eh, ah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. By the way. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> the art uh, that uh, uh, Keisha Farmer. Keisha Farmer. I know that beat. You know what? You know. You know. I want to. Um, you know. I want to. <laughs> uh, these are paintings by Keisha Farmer. Yes, Keisha Farmer. She has a master's in art and in art education. And I bought some of her paintings. They're worth a lot of money. They're really very good. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, that beat. That beat. Don't, 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 don't quit, don't. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, let us uh, begin. Uh, yes, she is very talented. Miss Farmer is very talented and, and teaches art in the uh, school system. Absolutely. Let me uh, reach out for my drink. <laughs> all right. All right, there's so much commercials, you know. Don't you, oh, don't you hear it? Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is my favorite. Yo no soy para ti, yo no soy para ti. <laughs> don't that remind you of summer? I do miss her. <laughs> it used to be our song. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> but understand. I, 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 I understand. Oh, let's put a bad idea. I got two stars. The Lone Star of the state of Texas and my Richard Pooh star. Right? Uh, and, and, see, and you know, I stay in Sugarland. And if you go to the town hall of Sugarland, guess what symbol they got on this building? The Masonic symbol. And they got this. Uh, what? what? Uh, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. The human blood. I know, right? Sugar Land. They got the symbol in your fucking face. And they got this right in front of the building. That's why there's so much money here in Sugar Land. I have never seen the kind of wealth that I see here in Sugar Land, Texas. And everybody got fucking planes. And you see it landing on the, on the hangers. I'm like, damn, you got money like that here? I always go to these places. When I stay with Madeline, in Florida, I was in Hillsborough County, the most expensive county in all of Florida, aside from Dade County. So, you know, I always end up with that's Oshun. No, that's Oshun, you know. The human blood. What is it that's so special? Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 <laughs> uh, This is a, how do I put it? it? It's an occult. It's an occult series. And, and uh, there's a reason why human blood has always been the subject of controversy. Human blood has tremendous mystery. Hello, how are you, Crown? Tremendous mystery. Human blood is fierce. Okay? Do you understand where the human blood comes from? Oh! No, no. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, no. This is Hennessy. A little, a little Hennessy with some orange juice and a little lime. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Then the pickle. <laughs> the human blood is precious. 
precious. Oh my God. If you go to my anthropological series, you can read. Go to medium.com and, and put under such anthropological series. That's another one of my websites. And I go in detail about the human blood. Don't you realize that the human blood is a, is a, is a liquid that you're not going to find anywhere on the planet? And nothing like the human blood. Oh, Lord. Ooh. 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 I don't even know how to. No, I don't know how to even begin. Before we developed blood, we had plasma, plasma fluid. Yes, a sister can get a reading. Just call me at 347-485-6258, but do it after the video. And I'd be very happy to give you a reading, okay? Uh, and absolutely. Uh, today, and tomorrow, today is fine too. All right? So, understand that before man had red blood, red blood came after man was created. Man was created. He did not have red blood. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, man did not have red blood. The blood that he had was um, synovial fluid. The synovial fluid or the fluid which is clearly, is clear, it's wireless, it's liquid, it's clear. It exists in the blood brain barrier. And it's found in interstitial fluid. It is interstitial fluid where you find in between joints. The visual pleura and the parietal pleura of the lungs contains this fluid. The spinal fluid, the cerebrospinal fluid, was the original blood of man before it was red blood. Now, what made Man turned from clear liquid to red blood. Oh, buddy, you're so buddy. oh wait, wait, wait. You gotta say what I mean. Ah, the <laughs> Okay? So understand that man was not equipped from the beginning with red blood cells. And man was not conscious. When man had clear liquid, he was asleep. Think about it as a baby. When the baby is inside of the water bag of the mother, he's asleep. He knows he's alive. He can feel the mother and feel everything from the womb, but he doesn't know that it is a woman that he's inside of. The baby has no idea that he's inside of a womb. So his consciousness is deep sleep subconscious. Hey, wait, wait. Ah, ah, ah. No, soy pa la ti. Wait. <laughs> oh, I love that beat. Oh, I love, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> when you are inside of the womb, you don't know that you are inside of a womb. You think that 
you are on your own. You have no idea that you're inside of a womb. We call that the dreamless state. So man is in the deep, deep, dreamless state. He knows he exists, but he doesn't realize that he's attached to another ego. Because he has no ego. The ego is not around yet. Okay. So understand that there is no ego. The ego can only function under the five senses. Without the five senses, there is no ego. But why am I talking about ego when I'm talking about human blood? Ah, you should be thinking. You should be thinking. Why am I talking? How did this conversation all of a sudden turn to ego? I'm going to let you think about that for two minutes. When I take this delicious sip of this delicious corn Hennessy. Mm. Thank you. I, 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 I never thought I'd make Texas my home or my company here in Texas. In Sweetwater, Sugarland, Texas. <laughs> and apparently all the money is here. How did I end up here? <laughs> you know, like, I, I have all the luck. <laughs> well, it suits me fine. Uh -uh. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, the beat just keeps going. Ooh, boom, 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 boom. The beat just keeps going. <laughs> okay. Why am I talking about the human ego and the human blood? Well, let me shock you. And I did make a video about this before when I talked about the archons. When I was in Florida under the direction of Miss Pagan. And I'm Florida. Understand. And I did talk about it. I might not have gone in details about it. But I did go in considerable detail about the human blood and the archives. Although I didn't link it together at the time. It just wasn't the time to, to do that. But now, I, I'm telling you that you have a, well, now it's time to kind of explain it to you. But uh, what I'm about to tell you is not new. Believe it or not, this information has been in your face. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Understand, wait. Let me, oh, I will be going to Dallas in a few weeks. I will be in Dallas and I will also be in Austin, Texas. Oh, the big, you know, they don't know Bang, bang, hey. <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> you gotta keep it spicy. <laughs> in the lone state of Texas. <laughs> Who thought I live here? But I like it here. <laughs> no, I still have a place in New York. You know, but I'm going to stay in Texas. I like it here. I breathe better. It's, it's, it's nice. It's freezing. There's snow in Texas. It's snow two inches. I was in shock. I said, oh my God. I have never seen a palm tree covered with snow before. I'm like, oh my God. I mean, there's snow everywhere. It was shocking. It was weird. It was weird. I didn't know what to think about it. What? But they got, got this drink to keep it nice and warm. <laughs> to you. <laughs> Uh, 
Yes, the blood and the archons are connected. Oh, you play with uh, bang bang. <laughs> Trader. Oh, that's how they call me, a trader. But I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, the mystery behind the human blood and this archons. Oh, oh, I might need to smoke a joke. <laughs> It might, it might seem to you like I'm not making sense and I'm speaking and I'm all over the place. Good. I want you to think that. But then what Uncle Fernando put it all together? Okay. You know, I hate when they put these commercials, you know. Oh, damn, commercials already. Come on, let's go. Okay. All right. All kidding aside. We all kidding aside. Let me explain to you the deal. When uh, man, early man, he had no eyes. He had no nose. He didn't have a mouth. He didn't have ears. He didn't have legs, arms, fingers. He didn't have a head. If we go back to the Polarian epoch, man was a blob. Yes, I talk about that in my anthropological series. Let's go back to that. That blob, like there was no bones, there was no calcium, no vitamin D to fortify bones, along with zinc, magnesium, manganese. Those elements did not exist. Calcium. There was, and the earth was not round. It was, it was forming. It was spherical. And at one point it was flat, and then it became biconcave and, 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 and got formed to the wall. The theory of flat earth is true, but we're not going to talk about that here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, the beat. It hit. Ah. So understand that the morphology of our planet was liquid like. So man was also liquid-like, right along with the morphology of the planet. And as the planet became more solid, so then man too started to become more solid. And as the earth evolved to the eons, so did man and every other kingdom on the planet. The mineral, the plant, the animal, and then later, man. We are talking hundreds of billions of years. The Earth is not 4.5 billion years old, like cosmologists propose. They're wrong in their calculations. The Earth is 3.5 trillion years old, and our universe is 7 trillion years old. One day of creation is, is 1 trillion years. And the earth rested on the seventh day, that is the seventh trillionth year of the creation of the cosmos. 
particularly of our particular solar system, created by the demiurge of Jehovah or Satan or the other names that he goes by. Now I'm trading to very dangerous truths that you're not supposed to know and the church keeps diabolically secret where it will kill you. Oh, this is why people are upset. Mm. But yet, this knowledge is not exclusive. If you got the money, and if you got the wealth, and if you have the right bloodline, you can get this information in Ivy League universities where they teach this stuff. Okay? And I'm in an Ivy League school. Columbia University is an Ivy League. And trust me, where do you think I get this information from? Okay? So no, this information is not exclusive to mankind. It's just exclusive to certain bloodlines. Okay? So, where does the red blood cells come from? How do we go from clearest, waterless liquid to this red substance with hemoglobin made of iron? Well, I just gave you a clue. Where does iron come from? Do you think that it was here on Earth that iron came from? No way. A collision occurred with our Earth and brought this iron mineral to our planet while it was still molten and it melted with that planet and created a red pigmentation which melted the iron right into our planet. Guess what planet that was? What planet was it that was cast off? Only Lauren, you, you mentioned the right... Mars! That's right, Mars. Lissy Darko, you got it. Mars. When Mars was cast off from the central sun, early Mars collided with the Earth. Remember, there was a time in space where there was collision going on among planets and moons before they became stable, and now they are the solar system that we know today. But it wasn't like that. It was a violent time of collisions and explosions. And this is how Mars and the energy and pigmentation and redness of the planet became infused in our core. And the blood nature that we were, we were taking our nutrient by osmosis. You took high school science, you know osmosis, through the skin of the blood, they absorb the nutrient and they absorb this red pigment. And that was the introduction of this red pigment into the blood's inner energy cells. And that gave rise to the closed circulatory system which became the human blood. It occurred when Mars was cast off from the central mass. This was the Polarian Hyperborean Epoch. And that is how human beings absorb their blood. The white fluid became mixed and oxidized with this red pigment and it gave rise to red blood. And when that occurred, guess what was born? The human ego. When the human ego was born was when the red blood cells became available and man became warm-blooded. This is deep, guys. But it didn't happen alone. There was a reptile that helped this occur. The reptilians came to the scene and these beings were stragglers and some failures 
from the moon. And they were the ones that awoke mankind to his divinity. This is quite, quite complex. But it was the archon that awoke man to who he will one day will be. Jehovah, the story of Adam and Eve has been completely twisted. In, in the book, in Adam and Eve's story, the serpent is not the bad guy. But the church makes it look like the snake was the bad guy. The snake was not the bad guy. The snake was the good guy. And this snake, serpent, reptilian, is seen in every race and in every culture. And I'm going to talk about this when I continue further on with this series. But we are going to do it at the other platform. This is an example. So there's a deep relationship between the archons, the reptilians, and mankind. In a way, we owe a lot to them because they are woken us to what we have now are and have become. And this went against the will of Jehovah or the upper gods. This caused a rift, and that was the beginning of the fall of man. God cast man out because he got awakened too early of his own divinity, putting him on a quest towards be returning back to God. That is the truth about humanity. Tell you. Talk to any anthropologist and tell him about the Polarian Epoch, the Hyperborean Epoch. Explain to you what I'm telling you. They cannot refute it. And if they do, you let me know. Because I will have the books and I'll give them to you. And I will call them to myself. Well, Genesis chapter 2, verse 1. Guys, thank you very much. If you want to continue to know more about this series, please donate. And I will continue. And it is here on YouTube, uh, www.paypal.me forward slash Keisha Farmer. And I shall continue with part two, which will be a cult, zeros, a cult series 0014. This is 0013. So I will continue with 0014. This series will run up to 200. Not only that will be on YouTube, most will be on another platform. But get it while it's hot here and donate. Thank you, guys.